My name is Ben. I am an IT architect, and we moved from WebEx to Zoom meetings. And for more reviews like this, you can click below. Both of these products, WebEx and Zoom, uh, solve, really it's a communication problem that they solve. So when you're trying to communicate with somebody else, but you can't be in the same room with them, uh, both WebEx and Zoom allow you to connect uh, online with that person. You can see that person, you can share screens, uh, you can share content easily. And especially since we've been in this strange pandemic world, uh, it's been very useful to be able to have those technologies to communicate. Uh, and, and I personally use them on a daily basis. Zoom meetings really excel at, um, at the communication piece, at sharing video and content, and joining a lot of people to, to a meeting. Uh, one of the best parts about Zoom is that it is very, uh, it's, not, it's, it's not very resource intensive. So you can run it on your computer, you can multitask, you can do several things at once, and Zoom is not gonna bog down your machine while you're in meetings and, and working with other people. Uh, Cisco WebEx is a meeting solution as well. Uh, it, it works really well for um, contacting others, for having online meetings with, with associates or others that, that can't be in the same room with you. Um, and it, it does a really good job at bridging that communica communication gap with, with people that, that are overseas or in other locations that, that you can't really go to. WebEx and Zoom are actually pretty similar as far as the learning curve when you're, when you're starting off with both of these products. Um, WebEx has its own client for, for your laptop or for, for your phone, as does Zoom. Uh, they're pretty easy to, to initially get started with them, and both of them are, are pretty self, um, are pretty user friendly. So when you open up WebEx, then it's, it's fairly simple to navigate. It's a little, I think WebEx, the interface is a little older. Um, it's not as up to date as the Zoom interface. And the Zoom interface is just as easy to get onto it, to initially connect up to it. But once you're connected, uh, Zoom is a little friendlier, the icons are better, um, it's a little sleeker in design, and that makes it a little easier to use from a, an end user standpoint. I think that probably the top considerations when you're, when you're evaluating WebEx versus Zoom uh, are your user base and um, whether you have high-end hardware or what kind of devices are going to be used with, with both of these software programs. So uh, as I have said previously with Zoom, it's a lot easier and more user friendly. Um, and a lot of the younger generation have, have never used WebEx, they've only used Zoom. So depending on what your, your company's landscape looks like, Zoom might be a better option for, for a younger generation, uh, whereas a lot of people um, who have been in the business industry for a while started off using WebEx. So they might be way more comfortable with WebEx. Uh, so that's really something to consider is, is who your, your, your user base is. The other thing I want to mention is performance. Uh, I've seen in the past that Zoom is a lot less resource hungry than WebEx. Uh, so Zoom actually would be a better option if you have older hardware and you're trying to make the most of the hardware that you have. Uh, so if you have older laptops or older devices, I would go with Zoom, whereas WebEx, which is more resource intensive, 
I would only recommend that for devices that are, are very new or, or devices that aren't going to be used for a lot of things other than just watching uh, or attending a meeting at, at a specific time.